Welcome to the LHDN e-invoice full tutorial in SQL Accounting. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about using the SQL account. To comply with Malaysia, LHDN e-invoice requirements. So let's get started. Part 1, Set up Company Profile. Before we start submitting e-invoices, let's make sure your company profile is properly set up. Enter your company name, a suitable remark if needed, and your industry code. Now, key in your business registration number, BIN. If you're not sure about your BIN or TIN, just click on the search button beside each field. The system will help you find them automatically. Then, fill in your company's full address, phone number, and email. Most importantly, make sure the country is set to Malaysia. Next, under the My Invoice section, you need to link your SQL system with the LHDN MyTax portal. This step connects your system directly with LHDN for e-invoice validation. Let's move on to the Customer and Supplier setup. Go to Customer, then click on Maintain Customer. Type in your customer's company name and click on the search button. This helps you fetch their business registration number. Click OK to confirm and insert the info. Then, fill in the customer's address, country, phone number, and email. These are all required for e-invoicing. Now, choose the correct e-invoice submission type based on your customer. Next, go to the Tax tab. Make sure the BIN and TIN are filled in correctly. For the TIN number, there are four general options, for general public, for foreign buy, for foreign suppliers and for government-related buyers. If your customer is an individual, you can also search using their IC. Now, repeat the same steps for your suppliers under Maintain Supplier. Everything is almost the same, but under e-invoice submission type. Be sure to choose self-build, and again, check that the TIN and BIN are correct before you save. The next important step is setting up your classification code. Since e-invoice focuses heavily on the items you sell, every product or service must be linked to a proper classification code. To do this, go to maintain item in your system. For each item, you'll need to assign a classification code. This is manual way. Choose the classification code that matches the nature of the product or service. But if you have many items to update, we recommend using the batch edit feature. From your item list, hold Ctrl and click to select the items you want to update, then right-click and choose Batch Edit Value. In the pop-up window, tick on Classification Code, then select the appropriate code for those items. Once done, click OK to apply the changes to all selected items. And that's it. You've successfully updated your items with the correct classification codes. This step is essential to ensure smooth e-invoice submission and compliance with LHDN standards. In this part, we'll look at an easier way to update your customer's tax identification numbers or TINs, especially if you've already linked your customer list in the system. Simply right-click on the right side on the list. Then, choose TIN Lookup from the menu. A new window will appear showing your list of customers Click the search button next to customer name and the system will automatically search and update the TIN number for you. If the TIN is found, it'll be filled in instantly. Now, let's move on to the most important part, creating and submitting your e-invoices. In SQL account, you can submit e-invoices under several sales sections. Invoice, cash sales, debit note, credit note. Let's start with invoice submission. Go to Sales, then choose Invoice. Click New to create a new invoice. Select the customer and enter the item details as usual, including description, quantity, and price. Once done, click Save. On the left side, under the More section, you can view and double-check the customer's information. If all information is complete and correct, you're ready to submit the e-invoice. To submit the invoice, click the e-invoice function. Then select Submit e-invoice. Within seconds, the invoice will be validated by LHDN. Once approved, the system will generate a QR code as proof of validation. You'll also see a green tick on the invoice, along with a countdown timer. This indicates how much time is left if you want to recall or cancel the invoice. To cancel a submitted e-invoice, open the validated invoice 
and click Cancel Validation e-invoice. The cancellation is processed instantly. Once cancelled, you can edit the invoice and resubmit it again if needed. Next, we have Consolidated e-invoice submission. If you've created multiple invoices but haven't submitted them yet, go to the My Invoice button and choose Submit Consolidated e-invoice. You'll see them listed as unsubmitted. Select the invoices you want to combine. Then click Next. Then click Submit. This will merge all selected invoices into one single e-invoice submission. We also have batch submit e-invoice from the list of unsubmitted invoices. Click the My Invoice button again. Choose batch submit e-invoice. This feature allows you to submit multiple invoices individually, but all in one go. Just tick the invoices you want to include. Then click Submit an email. After submission, you can always check the e-invoice status. If it shows validated, you're all set. If you see an error, make sure to review the customer or item information. Most errors come from missing or incorrect data. Using credit notes for adjustments after 72 hours. In this part, we'll show you how to use a credit note. Here's how to do it. Go to the sales section and select credit note. Create a new credit note. It must match the one from the original invoice. You can either transfer from sales invoice or from document to field. Select the invoice number that has already been validated. Once linked, you can proceed to make adjustments such as changing the item quantity, amount, or removing an item altogether. After you've made the necessary changes, click Save. Then, submit the credit note using the e-invoice submission button just like you would with a normal invoice. This credit note will be sent to LHDN as an official adjustment to the original e-invoice. It's a safe and compliant way to handle post-submission corrections. Now that we've completed the sales section, let's move on to the purchase side of the e-invoice system. In SQL account, there are two main ways to handle purchase-related e-invoices. First, self-build e-invoice. This method is used when dealing with foreign suppliers, where you're required to issue the invoice on their behalf. To do this, go to the Purchase Invoice. Click New and enter all the usual details such as supplier name, currency, and items purchased. Once everything is filled in, check the supplier information and make sure it's correct. Set the submission as self-built. Click on the My Invoice button and choose Submit e-invoice. The system will then validate and submit the purchase invoice as a self-build. Next, importing e-invoices from the My Invoice portal. If your supplier has already submitted a validated e-invoice on their end, you can import the purchase invoice directly from the My Invoice portal. Click on the My Invoice button, then choose Batch Import. A list of available e-invoices will appear. These are invoices already submitted by your suppliers. Simply map the correct supplier name. And if you're doing stock control, match the item codes as well. Once done, click Import. Wait a few moments. Then refresh the purchase invoice list. You'll now see a list of invoices marked as imported from My Invoice Portal. These are fully validated and linked to your records, no double entry required. Self-build e-invoice via payment voucher. This method is for individuals who not conducting a business. Go to the Cash Book entry and click New PV to create a new entry. Fill in all necessary details. Amount and description, for example, monthly rental for May. Make sure all required fields are complete, including pay name IC number, full address, contact details, especially those related to tax information. Once done, click Save, then Click the My Invoice button and choose Submit e-invoice. The system will submit this payment as a self-build e-invoice. You'll receive a validation confirmation. That's it, fast and easy. This method helps ensure that your payments to non-business. Individuals are still in compliance with LHDN e-invoice requirements.